I think my most significant event was President Kennedy's assassination. That was very unbelievable um, at the time. And I think that was the beginning of um, a lot of turmoil that came of, of that, you know, original assassination. There were things that were already brewing, but everything kind of blew up in the 60s. The women's movement, the civil rights movement, the anti-war movement, uh, pro-choice movement, you know, all of, all of that just kind of, you know, it was, it was almost overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there were two more assassinations. Martin Luther King, to afford them the same rights and privileges as anyone in the United States, in a peaceful way, and they killed him for it. It was like, it goes back to that same nonsensical kind of a thing. You know, people are people. You're, you're just, you know, you don't have to agree with me, but you have to respect the right to my opinion. Just like I may not agree with you, but I respect your right to have that opinion. That is what this country is, and sh or should be, in the perfect world. But there, you know, there are factions out there that, you know, <laughs> don't, do that. don't do that. But uh, I, I honestly thought very idealistically when I was young, that as time went by, we'd all get along better. And I do see that, but then I don't. It's, it's not what I thought it might be. So, but it's a little better. It's always a little better. It's always a little better. So maybe in the next 50 years. <laughs> Never understood prejudice as a whole. There was, earlier on, there was all this, uh, uh, Jewish, Jewish. Oh, they're Jews, they're Jews. And I was like, yeah, so? So what's the matter with that? And then it was, you know, Blacks, or as we called them then, Negroes. Negroes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they can't come to Cicero. You know, they can't be here. They can't be there. They can't be everywhere else. And I, and, and I always was just kind of like, you know, when I was younger, I didn't quite get it. By the time I got into my teens and the civil rights movement was coming along and you saw all these visual images on television of how they were, you know, the discrimination that was going on, especially in the South. Separate bathrooms, separate drinking fountains. They couldn't go into certain restaurants or hotels. Uh, they'd start demonstrating, you know, hey, we have rights too, we're people too. They'd take fire hoses and spray them into the sides of buildings. And to me, it was horrifying. It was absolutely horrifying. My father was a racist, for lack of a better word, because there is no better word, or and there's no worse word. A racist is a racist. And I had bitter arguments with him as a teenager. And, you know, I was like, what? I said, they're people. 
People are people, you know? And he'd say, you wait, you wait. When you grow up, you'll find out. Well, I'm 68, as I said before, and I'm still waiting. Because <laughs> all I have found out in all that time was that what I said was the same. People are people. threat of nuclear war and the Russians and, and, you know, oh my goodness, and people building bomb shelters.